ask the people at Milo to help him out. Well, I'm the type of guy who the power steering was not a big thing in 1969, so. So tell us about your routine then. What, what What's the routine going into training like for you? Uh, so, yeah, there's usually probably a bit, a bit of rock and roll blasting, so that wakes me up. It's an early start, usually up before the kids get out of bed. It's getting harder now because the nights are obviously coming in. Yeah, as I say, I'll, I can stick some music on and uh, and sort of be be that person, you know, be that um, that guy who's full of energy, gets in there and, and, and tries to lead lead this whole place, you know, to uh, to another result on Saturday, which is hopefully what we'll get. Can you describe yourself? I think a word that everyone would use would be energy. You know, I think everyone would be, hopefully, say positivity. You know, I try and uh, I try not let things get me down too much. Um, it's a tough job, you know, and it, it, it's very tough sometimes, especially when you when you're on the end of a, a defeat or a, I'd say three, four defeats. I think that 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 becomes sort of a, a real test. Somebody said to me the other day that uh, you know your mood when you come in affects everything, affects the whole the whole place. And and for me, that's a real positive. It's a real it's a real nice thing to know that I have that effect on so many people because I am that leader. Um, and I always have been. I, I've, I've been the captain. I've been the the life and soul in the dressing room as a player. Um, and I think as long as you do it in the right way. You can lead. You can. You can be that energy. You can be that. You know that influence. But um, if you do it the wrong way, imagine that. You know that could go pretty. That could go pretty bad. So um, I've got to still check myself and think: Is that positive, Gareth? Is, is that? You know, is that you? And I'd say 95% of the times, I am that person anyway, which is great. Um, but yeah, we all have our moments, and, uh, and I got to make sure that mine are few and far between. Tell us about your music. How important is that to you? So the music for me is right up there with the football, honestly. You wouldn't have me without the music that I grew up with. Mum was a singer, dad was a rocker. You know, the house was uh, the house was always full of music. And, um, and I'm lucky to be brought up that way. I think it gives you energy. I think if you put any song on, no matter who you are, you can go and do it now. Put a song on, it affects your mood. It really does. It can make you smile. It can make you sad. And the music sort of gives me that energy and that passion and, and it also gives me a huge relief, you know. I've got I sing along to the songs at the club and some of the some of the boys said, Do you know all those lyrics? And I'm saying, Well I'm not making them up. They're, they're just in there. I've learned the lyrics and I've sung them over and over again. To actually be able to do it as well, to write songs, to be able to perform songs in front of people, um, to be lucky enough to be releasing an album with our with our sponsor Cherry Red Records, you know, it's it's pinch yourself stuff so people will say 10 years in a job god that um, must be getting on now you must be due for a change absolutely not give me another 10 years i'd love it rock and roll manager rock and roll morning how are you doing you okay my first thing Chef, then the kit man, then the manager. It's such a short-term um, outlook and vision in football these days. Everyone wants results, sort of yesterday if they can, you know. So to get to 10 years in a, in a management, ro management role is, is incredibly unique. And I think that's just testament to the job he's done here, how he's grown the place, how he moved it forward from, from the days when he took over. Um, and I just think the energy and enthusiasm that he brings in every day, you know, to keep going for, for 10 years is just, it's nothing short of incredible for his, his own um, energy and resilience and endurance, really, to keep doing the job that he's done over such a long period of time. Michael, you all right? Yeah. You got any eggs? <laughs> Watch yourself, man, you need a ham? No, you want right. coffee? <laughs> you want coffee? Come you want on, coffee? go and get a coffee. Yeah? Big sign in this from the chairman in the summer. The change here is ridiculous. We used to we used to have a couple of rooms just to work with, and now we've got a media suite where we can go review the games. We've got prep room. We've got a press room, which is unbelievable. 
a couple of offices. I mean, and the gym's fantastic for this for this uh, for this level as well. So, no, doing really well. If you came here ten years ago, you know, there's still the odd thing knocking about that we still said we'd change ten years ago. We never have, never got around to it. But on the whole, it's so much better, you know. And to be able to attract the players that we've attracted here has been really important. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's part of part of football, you know, having a good training ground. This is our office. This is where we work. The stadium is just that showcase every two weeks, you know. So this is where it happens. More nice. Alright. The secret's getting out, Anne. Hey. The secret's getting out that you're a good player, eh? It's no secret, Anis. <laughs> Cause well, now the gaffer goes gaffer goes, in the first team game, can we trust you to market a corner now? Here we go, here we go. He doesn't know he's there. Doesn't yeah, he there. doesn't know where he is. You know, you've got to—it's just a body position. Yeah. yeah. So there, my my point is, yeah, your body's like this. It needs to be like this. Yeah. So there's the ball. So you can see as soon as he's coming, you can see him. How would I describe the gaffer? Um, different, eccentric, um, consistent. Uh, he's a, he's a great guy. He's he's humble and. Um, yeah, he's just positive, the most positive person I think I've ever met in football. Boys, boys, yeah, sit down. Okay, have you attention, yes? Yeah. Okay, awesome the other night, all right. Getting good minutes since people, right? We need to obviously pick up on a few things that we did the other night, but today it's going to be all about. Sappy's going to be up for this one, okay? This is going to be a tough place to go. We know that, all right? But I need to press on a little bit more than we did last week, all right? That's why I think we let our attacking threat second half a little bit, whereas we're not that team. We're this front foot team. We know we are, okay? So I'll go through the details in here now, show you how we're going to play, show you the key elements that I want, I want to add to, to us for this Saturday. and roll is what he likes to go off and I think that does explain him well um, but he's also got a very caring nurturing side as well to him which um, I still lean on now um, so he's got um, the all round package but I think him as a person um, takes him into his success as a manager I think a lot of people this is not doing him a disservice with tactically as well he's very good tactically um, but I think a lot of managers rely so much on the tactical side and leave that personal side away. Whereas I think that comes first with the gaffer and he wears his heart on his sleeve. And I think that's why players run through a brick wall for him. Uh, for me, since I've been here, it's always been the, the man management side of things. I think he um, you know, sees the individual first, which is often lost in the game. I mm. think uh, you know, he just wants everyone like he's very much himself. As you as you probably yeah. know, and I think um, I think that just encourages us players to be ourselves. And you know, I think when you get that from the top, you just get 100% buy-in. So anything that he asks us to do, you know, we're willing to do it. And um, and I think everyone being on the same page always helps massively. We're on the far pitch, Matt. Go on, boys, quality now. Going into training. Come on. Look after it. I'm lucky enough to have been here a few years now. Um, let's take away his uh, manage managerial skills, his tactical prowess, and all the knowledge he's got. He is a, a, a genuine, honest, good, good guy, and um, I'm, I'm truly thankful that he gave me a chance here. And I've been lucky enough to spend uh, many games under his management. And I think what sets him apart from the rest is he's an honest, genuine man. And you know, I, I thank him for the opportunity, and uh, it's a credit to him the way he keeps going from strength to strength. Come on, up you come. Please, please. Lucky, more than proud, you know. I think uh, he's, he, he dodged a few bullets early in, in the in the early part of my career, and then lucky to say that we've been on a steady ascent since. You know, uh, it's been a pleasure. You know, I really enjoyed every minute of it, and it's a pressure job, of course. But there's a lot worse pressure jobs than this, and uh, and I think if you, it's the way you look at it, then you, your own outlook, the mindset you set, um, and how you manage, and got a great bunch of boys. Had a great staff over the years and, and some fantastic chairman and bosses ahead of me. So, um, yeah, really enjoyed it. But, um, you know, it's a milestone that you, it's time really. You know, it's, it's all about the three points for me on Saturday and I want to I wanna celebrate that. That would be icing on the cake. 
Oh, great shot, Gaffer. Love <laughs> 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 <Lovely>, Gaffer. Oh, <laughs> 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 The big thing for him is his relationships with his players, with the people around him. Um, we've got players here that you know, not necessarily in the team all the time, but you know, love it and, and just love being around the players. One of his biggest strengths is that he cares about the players. He cares um, first and foremost, and he treats people like um, with that respect. Gaffer comes in every day with an energy, a vibrance. You know, you hear him, you see him, and he's and he really galvanises everyone he needs everyone. If I could give any advice, I, I would be. Don't take it to heart. Don't let it ruin your life. This job will consume you. you accept that's going to happen. Just don't let it get to you because it has done to so many. And, uh, and they're good people and, and strong characters. They've got to just be them. And whatever will be, will be. That's how he's done.